Hello everyone, welcome back to Nails by Jen. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a nail desk tour. Um, it's nothing fancy, but it is definitely bigger and nicer than what I used to have. Um, this tabletop I just got from Ikea, it's like a countertop. And then I got the seven drawer um, cart storage thing from Amazon. I didn't see a lot of reviews on this, but it's actually really tall. Um, and it definitely holds a lot. And then on top, I just have this, um, just some shelving I had sitting around and it fit perfectly up here. Um, so starting out on this side, I have this container that holds like my most used, uh, base gels, um, top coats, uh, press on gel for my gel nails. I get these from Eno Couture. I gel beauty or like my most two or most popular, um, brands that I like really love. So these are, um, Eno Couture as well. Um, this is a builder gel in a bottle. Some more base gel from Eno Couture, another one, um, preps. These are the peel off base. I just have the UNT and I've also been trying out Sparkling Co's. I got it in one of their subscriptions. Um, Easy Ombre from iGel. Blooming Gel from iGel. Um, a matte top coat. Uh, Sparkling Co's gel protect. Um, I have Maxi Magic Film Glue. I have a black and a white gel from Eno Couture, my nail glue, because I like to hold it up. And then a gel base, some dip base from Triple D, my horrendous activator bottle from iGel. It's one of my favorites. I have some Revell or Revel um, No Cleanse Top Coat, another base. This No Cleanse is one of my favorites. It's from iGel Beauty. Um, then I have my nail lamp from iGel as well. It's the Pro Lamp. Um, let me turn it on. And then I have my stand. This is just a TV stand. I really like it because it's it can hold a really heavy camera. Um, it was really cheap and it works really well. You can use your phone or the, um, I bought this separate so that way I could um, have the most range of motion. Um, it turns all kind of which way. Then I have my lamp. I got this off of Amazon as well. It's like the daylight lamp. You can turn it, it moves. It's really cool. And then I have my practice hand. Just a cheap one off of Amazon. Um, my nail drill. This is also from My Gel Beauty. It's just a rechargeable. And then this one also is rechargeable so it doesn't have any wires. And then over here, this is actually a washi tape container. And I thought it, I thought it worked perfectly for the small dip from Revel. Um, definitely don't need any more. <laughs> and then it has some Sparkle & Co. These are all Revel. And then the back are just the subscription Sparkle & Co colors. Again, there's some that I've mixed that I just threw in here, like these little ones right here, just some that I've mixed. <clears throat> and then I just have some lotion and um, hand sanitizer. 
Over here, I have my Dappin dish, which is from Idel Beauty, just an alcohol container. This other one for when I wanna soak off, just has cotton balls in it. And then over here is just another little drawer. Um, it just has like my finger practice hand stuff and then foils that I've cut up. Um, it just has some swatches right here. These are my Glitter Bell swatches. Um, inside here, I have my sanitization box. I have some um, Galaxy, what are they called? The cat eye gels from Eno Couture, just a couple of them. I have some alcohol, some monomer from iGel Beauty, my Mia Secret monomer because I have a big container of it. And then I just have some extra base gels right here. And then these are the dip refills, the base and activator from iGel Beauty. Here's another um, builder gel. Um, some more base gel from Eno Couture and then a big thing of cube oil. I don't use that. Um, and then we'll start off on this side. This is starting in the seven drawers. That's my trash can that needs to be cleaned. So don't mind that. Um, and here I just have these little containers from Amazon. And this just holds my buffers that I use on myself. Um, these are like my implements. So, beautiful cutter, um, nail tip cutter, just different stuff. Tweezers, I have some cuticle wood sticks back here, cuticle oil, nail glue, um, swatch sticks. I have my sanding bands, I have the 240 and the 80, and then I have my clean drill bit. I just keep in this container. And these ones are all clean. I just like to keep them put away so they stay sterilized. Um, this one. These are just all of my brushes. I did have them in like a cup holder, but I didn't really like it because they just got full of dust. Um, so in this one, it's just like my nail art stuff, like liner brushes, um, some cleanup brushes, dotting tools. This one is just more brushes that I use for when I dip. Um, another one of these that I do, it's clean, um, just like a manicure brush. And then I have my acrylic brushes. These range from iGel Beauty, um, you know, Couture. These are Amazon, another Amazon 3D. And then in here, I just have more random um, pens. I have like the rhinestone tool, some cleanup brushes, magnets. And then here I just have some brand new uh, nail files. I get these off of Amazon. And they're like the wide, um, the wide zebra. I really like those. And going into the next one, this is like my gel stuff. So I just have like souffle gels. Um, these are from Eno Couture. And I have different colors in that. I have some poly gels, you know, couture as well. One from Amazon. I have some painting gel in black and white. Uh, some more random gels. Um, alcohol swabs. These are just my lamps. You know, couture. Uh, here's another one. These are just some random Amazon gels that I don't really use. Um, some more Amazon gel pot paints and they're just glitter. And then here's all of my nail art, my stamping plates. So these are all from Maniology. And then these are some Amazon ones.
Then I have the um, Jelly Stampers from Born Pretty, Amazon. Um, I have some more, um, what are these called? <laughs> Stamping polishes from Maniology. The ones from this big cab are Maniology. And then these over here are um, Born Pretty and Amazon, of course. And then in the back, I just have another container with these um, scrapers. And then these are just some nails that I've done. And that one. And then that's just my foot um, soaker, scrubs, implements. And then that last one is empty. Then coming over to this one on this side. These are just um, nail forms. These are from, you know, Couture. These ones are from Amazon. I like these because my nails are so short. Um, just some of my most used acrylic, if you can tell by the bottles. Um, I have a clear from Sparkling Co. I have some rings. Uh, nail tips, these are um, I use for the nail trainer. These I use on myself from EC Basket. I really like these if you have flat nail beds like me. I just have them in natural and clear. And then these are my Eno Couture ones that I do not use. Um, these are the almond. And then I put another because I had so many of these containers. I just put some toe um, toenails in that one. Going into the next drawer. This is like my all time favorite. This is all from Glitter Bells. These are all of her premix glitters. And if you can't tell, I'm obsessed with Glitter Bells. Um, Cause all you, you don't have to mix anything. They're already mixed in glitter. Definitely one of my favorites. And then here's some more. And then these are like the um, light pink, medium pink, dark pink, um, I gel beauty. It's their um, like French colors. And then I have a French white. Going to the next one. These I just have to swatch. I haven't swatched it's some of the, some more of the diamond collection. And then just some random stuff. Um, these other drawers are just junk. And then some um, notebooks and then the keyboard to my iPad. So I had a drawer that I forgot to show. Um, I forget these are seven. <laughs> So with this one, these are my extra nail files and I only put a couple in the drawer and I just have these put away. These, as you guys know, I mentioned a hundred times in my videos. These are the smoothie buffers from Eno Couture. They're amazing. I have the smoothie buffer and then the other buffer. And then in the back, these go to the metal file that I have. These are just the replacement um files and then just a box of um my maniology um inspire inspiration cards so in these drawers i got off of amazon as well uh, these hold all of my iGel beauty dip and dab colors i have almost all of them i think i don't have maybe 20 but that's just because they resemble another color um,
So these ones are the Diamond Ombre Collection. I only have a few. Um, and then this one, these, the ones over here, these three rows are the um, hollow, hollow chrome collection. I only, I think I don't have like two of them, um, but I have all of these. Uh, these are glitter, but they also can be used as a chrome. And then these, I have the glow powders, which is this purple one, the pink, yellow, orange, um, this other pink, and then this blue. And then I have two of the ombre um, collection. I have two just up here just to fill it in. And then this is a random jelly dip. That is it for in there. And then over here, I have the Alex Nine Drawers. So, in this one, this is the Valentino collection. It's the cover collection. Uh, I bought the whole line. And it just has like a lot of nudes. A clear. Um, just different uh, cover colors and then these two are Mia Secret and these are just ones that I've had for a while. I think this is cover beige. And then uh, the one thing with this, with these drawers, is that there's like half of it after you open it, there's still like a big chunk that you can't get access to. That's the only bad thing about these drawers. But other than that, I, I like them. Um, this is my glitters and some more nail art drawer. I don't really use this one as much, but I just have some flowers, uh, foils, a little bit of rhinestones. I have some of these. Um, I have these stickers that I use for like color blocking. Um, and then I have some more glitter, some foils, some Christmas embellishments. Um, some little beads. I have some, um, hollow chrome pigment flakes, whatever you want to call them. Um, some more little beads, butterflies. Um, and then I have some more of those little cases, foil, um, this right here is a play color palette from Eno Couture, and in this one, I just hold my rhinestones. I'm going to get it open with one hand. So it just has two layers. It's really for like gel um, to draw, but I don't, I just use it for my rhinestone. And then I have some stickers like Christmas. Um, these are decals, just have them in different designs. And then these are more stickers. Some stickers from My Gel Beauty. Um, those. And then, don't judge, this is a Ferrero Rocher <laughs> candy container. But it worked really well to hold these little, my little chromes and stuff, just so they don't spill out and glitter. Um, so I just have that in there. And then I have... Um, 3D silk powder from iGel Beauty as well. I really like this for Christmas time. Um, and then I have some glitter in the back. Like I said, I don't really use this drawer too much. And then in here 
I have some more gels I'm actually gonna order so that's why this one's empty and then these are just the galaxy flake a couple of them from eye gel beauty and I just swatched it over black and this one And then these are from, um, what is it, Sparkle & Co. Like the subscription. And then this is my gel polish collection from iGel Beauty. There's just the um, dip and doubt colors, which is, um, or the iGel match. And I have the gel and the, um, Dip and dab powders in the same color. So that's what these are. Different polishes. And I actually want to swatch these. So if that's something you guys are interested in, um, please let me know because I, I need to swatch them anyways because I don't have them. Um, and I want to put the, the little dots on the top of them. So if it's something you guys want to see, then please let me know. Um, and this one is just more gel polish. And in the back here, like I said, there's a lot of this you can't get to. So this is just a drawer, I mean a, a container. Um, and it just has my extra one, two, three go nails in there. And then just some other tips behind there. But all of this is I gel beauty. Anything with the gold caps is I gel beauty. And in here, these are my one, two, three, go nails. You guys can tell I'm, I'm obsessed with one, two, three, go. Well, Eno Couture. So I'm gonna go really fast. So these are the mini sculpture square. And these are actually already edged for me, so I don't have to do anything. And these are the short ones. I have the active almond. These are mini sculpture coffin. And then sports link. So these are just like the natural square. These aren't sculpted. Um, these are the ombre sports link. So it's the same exact like the square, except for they are ombre and they're really cute. Um, what else? ballerina so this is just like the coffin um the longer coffin style then i have it in mini sculpture almond so these are just like the active almond except for their sculpted higher apex <clears throat> the these are the ones that i have mixed so i have the sugar glitter almond and then the princess pink almond and i just have them in the same container because they're the exact same style and they match with each other um then i have eternal beige coffin and these are really long i like them but they are kind of long so i don't use them too much and then which one is this these are the medium oval And then Sculpture Square Media. The XXL Square. So these are really long. And they're more like a boxier square. And then these are the Extreme Square. And these are like sculpted. These are really nice. But they're really long, so they're not for me, but I use them to design stuff. And then I have the mini stiletto. And then sculpture almond medium. So that is that. And then this is like my catch-all drawer. So I have 
the big jar of the clear um, acrylic from Idol Beauty. I just have some swatch sticks. Um, I use these for my press-ons. Have some fingers down there. Um, just random. And then I have some stuff for dip. I have some more paints. I have more foils in here. These are just like random, random foils that I gotta put in the other drawer. These are acrylic that I've already mixed uh, myself. These are two from Eno Couture and then the rest of them are Mia Secret. And then I have some different colored Sharpies back here. And then uh, this is like my overflow of everything. So I use these for um, to glue my dots on the top of my gel polish bottles. I got that off Amazon. These are the replacement heads for my puffy tool to like ombre with, it's like a sponge. And then these just to um, do like a pour over with dip. I have some more of the replacement um, brushes for my dip. I have some more brushes from Wet n Wild. This one, this brush I use as like an ombre, kind of like blending the colors together when I dip. And then this one is a good cleanup. And I have a couple boxes of these of the um, lint free wipes. I really like those. Um, I have some cotton balls down there. And then I have the chalk all the way at the bottom. And that's just when I would, I used to mix my acrylics. And then I have some random light bulbs in here. <laughs> and then the last drawer. I have all of my foils. So, like I said, there's a whole bunch in the back that you can't get to, but because I have so many, um, you know, they all come packaged like this. So I found a solution. Another girl on YouTube actually did this. This is not my idea, but you get these little bead containers. Uh, Amazon has these bead containers and they almost like the size of a Tic Tac container but I actually took the top off and put my foils in and they don't fall out they don't move you just get some tweezers and pull them out but it keeps them all organized and it gives you so much space because I have so many of them I can fit like eight of these eight or nine of these containers in that drawer so that's what I'm gonna do um, I just have them labeled like this one's eye gel beauty and this is the number two like designs and then I have like different ones number two number two here's 25 so this is like this one I tried to put all of my florals together just to keep them somewhat organized so, um, that's all I did here. I really like this idea. It was super cute. And it definitely holds. I can buy so many more and store them. But yeah, I thought this was such a cute idea. I never would have thought of this. And then I gel. I mean, uh, Enel Couture, they have their foils, like there's a name to them, so I just wrote it. Um, this is the botanical set. It's super cute. It's cute, I really like this one. And then these, you encapsulate. I don't really use these, but I wanted to keep the sets together, so I just put some of these at the end. And these you just encapsulate with um, acrylic. 
So there's that. And then my wall, don't mind all the paint chips. Um, these are just my swatches. And then up here is my um, lacquer that goes to the gel polish. I don't use any of these. They literally just sit here for decoration. Um, just gives me kind of an idea of a color that I have. Some of the polishes are missing because I gave them to my niece. But yeah, that's what I got. Super simple. Um, nothing fancy. Just kind of throw some stuff together. I also have this cube st stand. And all I put in here is just like my overflow. I got to kind of keep it away from my son. Um, I got my barber side, my monomer, some alcohol, my mixing thing right there, and then my um, dust collector. This is actually from Eno Couture. It is super cute. It's all pink. And that is it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or want to know where I got specific things from, please leave them down in the comments below. I definitely will link as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys have an amazing day, day or night, whenever you are watching. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. It is at Nails by Jen and leave a like comment or subscribe i would definitely appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.